$100,000 hit ordered by Big Jug to get Johnson a record deal with CMG, which is Yo Gotti's record label, and that Smith often bought drugs from Govan. All right, so some bombshell evidence just dropped in the Young Dolph murder case. The prosecutors believe that they have found the motive and the reason why Young Dolph was killed in front of everybody. For the summertime, got a new what? drop. <laughs> Dolph was inside Makita's when he was gunned down. And now prosecutors are saying that Yo Gotti's brother, Big Jook, put $100,000 on Young Dolph's head. Assistant DA Paul Hagerman says Yo Gotti's late brother, Big Jook, put out a $100,000 hit for whoever killed Young Dolph. That's Big Jook. Person I told you about before. Number two guy at CMG. He's put out a hit. A hit. $100,000 to whoever kills Dolph. The shooters on the case are all switching and snitching on each other right now. You got Govan working with the state, and now you got the second shooter working with the state. And today, we are gonna go through all the details of the case, go through the testimonies of all the shooters and the hitmen that got caught to find out the real reason behind why they put $100,000 on young Dolph's head to get him killed. But before we start this video, make sure you hit the like button, comment your thoughts and your theories about what's going on, and subscribe to the channel. For the first time in four years, new surveillance footage have just been released on the inside of the store showing Young Dolph's final moments. Right, that's Dolph right there. All right, Dolph. Dolph. Yes, sir. The chain around his neck. If you look at the way Dolph walked into that store, fly like he always is, but most importantly, you can see that Dolph is full of life, man. Minutes before they took his life. The PRE chain? Yes, sir. The one that we saw in the exhibit? Yes, sir. And that's Marcus behind him? Yes, sir. Dolph had one of his guys with him. He was almost out of there. This girl is ringing up his cookies. Oh, she saw the she ran. Oh, but that wasn't it because the prosecution just brought Young Dolph's bodyguard on the stand to tell the feds about the beef between Young Dolph and CMG, Yo Gotti's label. You familiar with a rival rap label? Yes. What was its name? CMG. Uh oh, so, cocaine music group. I think so. Yes. Sir. Does that label have artists and things like it under that umbrella? Yes, sir. Are you familiar with the name Jook or Big Jook? Yes, sir. Uh, and is that person, to your knowledge, affiliated or part of the leadership of CMG? My not, yes, sir. Are you familiar with any sort of rivalry between CMG and Dolph? Yes, sir. Are you familiar with sort of the origins of that? Robert. Yes, sir. And what is that? We got the Oz Brown shot up. Uh, uh, a few other bear stuff. Connecting the pieces to the rivalry of CMG and PRE Empire. This is crazy. Do you know why does CMG have a problem with Dolph at all? <clears throat> You're not familiar with that? You familiar with Dolph ever turning down proposals to sign with artists from CMG? Yes. In his rap songs, did he call out? CMG and those artists. Yes, sir. Did he say insulting things about Big Joe? Yes, sir. Has that translated into some violence directed against Dolph? Yes, sir. Dang. Perpetrators affiliated with CMG? The fact that they bringing up Yo Gotti, Big Jook, CMG in this court case is scary. It's spooky hours right now. Whenever your record label get bought up on a murder case, Oh no! That emblem on that, you familiar with that? Yes, sir. And is that CMG? Yes, sir. You know, if we just offer that into evidence, it's safe next somebody says it. They done gave that man a piece of paper with three letters on it, and y'all know what it say. But it gets even worse. Cornelius just admitted that he was the shooter on the case. He implemented Justin, who tried to say he wasn't there. Cornelius done flipped on the whole gang because he's saying that when he was supposed to get paid a hundred thousand to kill Young Dolph, they came up short and ain't even pay that man. 
we, we knew that, you know, they had heat on uh, Dolphin's head or whatever, so. Who had a hit on whose head? Big Jug had, had a hit on Dolph's head or whatnot, so. Dang. How do you know that Big Jug had a hit on Dolph's head? I could quit had told me about it. How much money was it supposed to be? 100000 on Dolph's head. And had you. Cornelius, the second shooter, just said out his own mouth that Big Jook put $100,000 on Dolph's head allegedly. You agreed to do this hit? Yes, sir. Had Justin agreed to do this hit? Yes, sir. Are we all gonna do it together? Yeah, they, they been on me, boy. Yeah. What was, was there any arrangements as far as split the money or anything? Yeah, uh, me and him and, uh, we, me and him supposed to be giving quit 10,000 apiece. All right, so you and him are gonna give Govan Ten thousand a piece. Yeah. And how much are you gonna get? I was getting forty. About how long are you gone? Well, I was gone a couple days. I ain't had any more money on me. Ain't had any more money. Run out of money. You gotta come back. Yeah, I gotta come back. And you come back. You pick up that money from the old woman. Yeah, I, I picked up the money from her, and I saw how much it was. I'm like, ah, yeah, nah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. His girlfriend picked up the money for him. And when he looked at it, it was only five hundred dollars in there. You could spend that on pills in one day. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, I bet it. Is that the only time you got any money from Justin? Nah, uh, a couple of days later, uh, I was in the city or whatever, and he was saying that uh, he was gonna have his folks pull up on me. We don't know who it was, but they got out three hundred dollars. $300. Yeah. $300. So he was supposed to get $40,000. The first time they only paid him $500. Then the second time he met with Justin, they only gave that man $300 for killing young Dolph. This is crazy. Played that man. All right, so now we've been paid about $800. Yeah. $800, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And it got to be spooky for everybody in Memphis right now, especially if you own the record label that was beefing with Dolph. You know what I'm saying? We see what's going on right now with this Diddy Rico, with this young thug Rico. It sounds like to me, like the state is trying to implicate Big Jook in the situation and connect the dots to his brother. And who is his brother? The CMG boss himself. This is not me that's saying it. They already got the evidence. They got the evidence already. You know what I'm saying? So this is all alleged. This court case is going through. So I'm not pointing no fingers and I ain't blaming nobody for nothing. But look, look, man. The bodyguard already said that they done shot up Dolph's Sprinter van a hundred times. And we all heard young Dolph say how you miss a whole hundred shots. Now the shooters who killed Dolph is coming out and saying Big Joke was supposed to pay him a hundred grand. I mean, this is this is crazy, bro. The dice is connected. Now, the question is this. We all know how it go. Big Jook was killed. Dolph's side got get back. But now that Jook is gone, will the feds swoop in and try to put a Rico on the CMG record label like they putting a Rico on Diddy and YSL? Or will Gotti be able to say that he ain't had nothing to do with it and it was something that his brother did. Would he be able to just pin it on his brother and say, look, he did that, I ain't had nothing to do with it. You understand what I'm saying? That's really the question that's on everybody's mind right now. And that's what the streets is talking about right now. Because there's no way they're gonna bring up the CMG record label in this daggone murder case and the feds ain't watching. You know the feds be watched. At the end of the day, I just want justice to be served. Young Dolph was a shining light in the city of Memphis. I'm a Young Dolph and a Yo Gotti fan. I like both of them. I hated the Young Dolph, Yo Gotti beef. I wish that they could have came together and did good music together because, look, I like Yo Gotti. I do. And I like Dolph. But at the end of the day, man, the feds is piecing everything together and is leading right back to three letters. It is what it is. That's what the court case is showing right now. Y'all can't get mad at me. The state of Memphis is saying that right now. No disrespect to nobody involved, but that's the news, baby. The city of Memphis been on fire for the last four years. There was a lot of killing, there was a lot of shooting, and there was a lot of drilling in the name of Young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? They tore that city up about Young Dolph. I'm gonna try to keep y'all updated on everything that's going on. This information is coming real fast. This is just the first day, and all this information is already coming out. I'm gonna try to bring y'all the news as quickly as I can so make sure you stay tuned to this channel but if you haven't saw my latest video check out this video right here about how P Diddy is now on a death watch in that New York City prison because the inmates want to take that man's life I'm gone